What's going on, Gags? It's Movie John 75, and I'm back at you with a, a CD update. Doing this with my new phone and my tripod. The reason why I do uh, these kind of updates this way, so you can see the cover of the CD a little bit better instead of holding it up and a uh, you know, good little distance away, but I like to get it pretty close up. But uh, yeah, these are some CDs I got over the last month. Uh, some of them only cost me five bucks. I think the most expensive one was seven. And the first one you're looking at is Eminem's Recovery. Of course, it was only seven bucks. Never really thought much about getting this one, and uh, but now I picked it up. I really enjoyed it. Let me flip over on the back. You can see the tracks. And uh, it had a few pretty good ones. That you, of course, you got Pink on here, and you got Lil Wayne, and you got Rihanna, uh, Love the Way You Lie, and uh, what was another, Space Bound, I like that one too, and Cinderella Man, so it's pretty good. It's a lot different than the earlier stuff. And uh, speaking of the earlier stuff, I also picked this one up, the Slim Shady LP. I mean, just to cover along on this one's crazy. I mean, you see that one right there. There's a 97 Bonnie and Clyde. It's probably one of my favorite ones on here. It's really disturbing. And uh, I, I don't know why. I just went all these years and never heard that song until now. And uh, I think this thing came out like in 97. So that was crazy to go all them years. But it wasn't like a single or anything. And I guess you can kind of figure out why it wasn't a single. There's the back of it right there. Uh, role models on this one too. It's pretty good. Uh, of course, my name is. That was the big one on there. And um, I may mean, I have to hold it this way. It's kind of hard to see. There's the back. Uh, come on, everybody. Is a uh, uh, he says it's his uh, basically like a dance song or whatever. That one was crazy. It's a lot different from him. But, uh, yeah, so that adds up to my uh, m, m collection right there. And going from m, &M to Dr. Dre here. You can see my tripod in the picture there because it's black and it's shiny. But this is uh, Chronic 2001. Uh, good, uh, good CD. Well, you can see my hand and everything in there now. Uh, maybe this ain't the way to go. But anyway, this is a good CD. I, I really enjoyed it. I used to have this a long time ago. I think I had it on cassette back in the days. Uh, I think this came out in 99 though. That's weird. It's called 2001. But of course this one had a lot of people on it too. You had Snoop. Uh, you had Eminem. You had Corrupt. Uh, who else was on this one? Hitman. I mean you even had um, Eddie Griffin on here too. Doing a little skit. Of course you got Nate Dogg. Good, good uh, exhibits on here. You know, what's the difference? You had Steel uh, Dre. You had The Watcher. I mean, there's some good song on here. Uh, the next episode, Forgot About Dre. Real good stuff, but it's not The Chronic, of course. The Chronic's always going to be my favorite Dr. Dre album. Actually, my favorite hip-hop album of all time, Gangsters. You can't beat The Chronic. But 2001's pretty good, too. Next up's classic. I had this back on cassette tape back in the days. Public Enemy, Fear of a Black Planet. Great album here. Um, out of the Public Enemy albums up to like the 91 apocalypse uh cd this is my favorite bar far i mean i listened to this quite a bit back in the days and uh seen it real cheap actually this one i said the other ones was like five dollars or that a dr dre one was seven but this one actually was only like three so this is a good deal there's the back of it of course you got fear of the black planet you got 911 as a joke you got some good songs on her um Power of the People. It's kind of hard to read some of these right here. But it's a good album. I mean, it, like I said, it's one of my favorite albums. And I've seen it real cheap. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up and add it to the collection. Whoa. Hit the, hit the damn tripod, gangsters. Gave you a little shake up there. That's Public Enemy. Next up, look, boys. Remember last update? We had two short. Look what's in the corner down there. Right there. Yeah. And it's actually a sticker on this one, though. But this is Life Is Too Short. I'm starting to slowly add to my Too Short collection. And yes, this one has the four-letter word fuck in it. Just like uh, if you watch my last update, you'll know and uh, probably get a little giggles out of it. There's the back of it. It's got some good songs on it. Of 
course, it's got Oakland and uh, I Ain't Trippin'. You got Cuss Words and Pimp the Ho. I mean, nobody does it like Too Short. Life is Too Short. Great songs on it. Not a whole lot of pictures or anything on the background. But this is the cover. Pretty cool. And uh, another addition to the Too Short collection in my hip-hop collection. Ooh, look. There I am. I don't know, maybe I should do this a different way from now on. Next up, the W. Yeah, this is the Wu-Tang Clan. I think this is their second or the third one. I can't really remember. Um, but yeah, it's a little damaged over here. I just noticed, uh, I don't know what happened. Maybe my CDs are getting too cramped together there. But um, this was a pretty good one too. Uh, I, nothing beats the first one though. There's the back. And uh, you had some good ones in this one, too. Yeah, you can't go... I Can't Go to Sleep is my favorite song on here. That one's in Do You Really Know? Or Do You Really... I don't know why I said that for. Protect Your Neck to Jump Off. Can't read this early in the morning, gangsters. But that's the Wu-Tang Clan. I'm at slowly add to the collection and i'll have to get a damn case i got some replacement cases check it out that one's got a sticker on it too for some reason i don't know why they just had the stickers on it and this one did too i don't know uh this is outcast of course uh big boy and dre presents when i got this it's only five dollars i thought it was uh just another album i'm not real big on outcast i don't know all their albums or anything but it turns out it's actually like a greatest hit, so. Oh well, it was only five bucks. What can I say? Still good. It's got all the greats on here. Of course, you got, you know, uh, no fresh. I mean, so fresh, so clean. You got uh, Bombs Over Baghdad. You got, you know, all them good ones that you see on here. And you heard Miss Jackson, all that good stuff. And a few other ones from early days, so. I'll just keep it in the collection, and when I want to hear some of the greatest hits all together, I'll just pop it in like that. Well, that's the uh, CD update. I uh, hope I didn't disappoint nobody, but uh, yeah, sorry for seeing me in the camera. I was trying to show the artwork off, but it didn't work out this time with this new camera I got. So, uh, till next time, gangsters.